स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स Uh, otherwise they'll be joining using the mentimeter the quiz uh, software uh. Yeah. so as till uh, one minute is there we'll start on dot sir anybody sir from uh, uh, from krishna nuni ji uh, family they are joining i send the link to them they are not at join they will they will join I think she is there. His sister is there. All right. Okay. Okay. Taji, is the sound not coming? Uh, some people are writing. Sound is not coming. Is the sound coming now? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's okay. Then it is all right. Taji, some people. Mr. Lata is there. What the? So, sir, uh, with the permission of uh, you all, should we start the quiz program? Yes. Yeah. So I hand over the mic to Dr. Megali Barua to please uh, proceed. Thank you, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Yes. A very good morning to everyone. I, Dr. Megali Barua. on behalf of department of geology northeastern hill university silong welcome you all to this third online geo quiz competition program 2022 which is jointly organized by krishna nuni memorial charitable trust and department of geology northeastern hill university silong on this auspicious day i welcome all the participants as without them no competition would be possible and i also welcome the family members of sri krishna nuni ji so to start the session i would like to enlighten our audience about the great personality sri kalathinkal krishna nuni ji he has obtained his msc degree in applied geology with distinction from indian school of mines dhanbad now it is iit dhanbad in the year 1962 and he was the topper of the first upsc geologist examination in 1964 and joined the gujarat circle of the geological survey of india in early 1965 he served the organization for the next 36 years in different capacities and assignments in various parts of the country with single devotion and leadership qualities and high technical competence in his susan field of remote sensing and photogeology noteworthy contribution of sri krishna nuni ji was the formulation and implementation of dof map project that is development of village economy through mineral appraisal program in the northeastern region of the country 
for employment generation and rural development based on local raw materials. Sri Krishnanuni ji served as Deputy Director General, Geological Survey of India, Northeastern Region, Ceylon, during the period from 1994 to 1998, and he released his stay in Ceylon so much that even after promotion to Senior Deputy Director General and posting at Kolkata, he continued as in charge of Northeastern Region as additional duty for some time. So without spending much time, now we, I will play the Sarasati Bandana to initiate the program. Professor Deve Swalia, Head Department of Geology, Northeastern Hill University, Silong, for delivering the welcome address. Over to you, sir. Yeah, uh, thank you, Dr. Meghali, for your uh, such a, a enlightening information about uh, uh, Shri Krishna Nuniji. So, dear participants, we are very much delighted to have you all with us. You know that today, not only the Teacher's Day, so for which I want to wish you all happy Teacher's Day because you are a teacher of your own self. That's what is one of the biggest uh, or the most important part in your life. Because you, to lead the life, you know that you need to understand yourself and take steps to take forward. I am very much delighted uh, to present uh, before you the third Northeast online quiz. We all know that the quizzing is type of mind bubbling exercise until unless you 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 put pressure on your mind it is not advisable it is not good so that you are you you to perform any exam wherein the good marks or the expectations of the people near and dear to you to be fulfilled we know that as an exemplary we know that we have got the first uh, uh, the topper of the first batch of, of UPSC, which was holding examination for the geologist, is very, very important and very, very uh, 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 to bring the name and fame of the, the geoscience in India. So, as you are the young students, young minds from the schools, wherein our interaction with the geoscience is only to one level that we should be breathe good air, we get good food, we stay in good place. That's what is our interaction with the earth is. We don't know what all things happen beneath the surface of earth. 
what all things which earth provide us so that you are living and livelihood so much uh, easy so for that the popularization of geoscience to the students is gaining importance because with the climatic change the life is becoming more stressed and time is not far when you have to think of the various earth parameters including geological parameters to use them to the fullest so that's what is one of the important message behind organizing such quizzes of course my dear friends whatever you do time is the constraint because you have to do everything in your this life only so the quiz competition will also teach you the time how to manage your life so just while welcoming you all i would like to uh, to tell you that this noble activity of helping the young minds to develop their potential and to develop to a level that they are able to express and they are able to 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 help the people and the society uh, krishna krishna nuni memorial charitable trust is constantly for your upliftment and your your improved uh, knowledge and improved uh, uh, wisdom so that you are able to perform to your fullest that's what we are working for because department of geology is also part associated with it so we would like to welcome you all uh, and just to tell you that department of geology at northeastern university is not very old department this year only our first batch has passed out and whenever anybody any of the student those who are participating or any of the of the members those who are who are uh, attending this program you are most welcome to come to shillong and if you will you are able to tell me one or two days before if possible even your stay arrangements can also be made at the guest house of northeastern university so while welcoming i'll again remind you that this is what is a quiz and in the quiz basically target is not uh, uh, not to disturb or not to 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 create too much of the competition but it is mind boggling exercise is there time management is there and it teaches you a lot of lessons directly indirectly so play this quiz with full sportsman spirit and don't worry if you get your surprises you are most welcome if you don't get also the chance is always there in the life to build up and stand and with this i think i'll not take lot of time but only to tell you that as the the climate change is occurring or or the various climatic factors are getting impacted the importance of geological science under the leadership of the present government of india is gaining importance and time is not far wherein your role as a geoscientist will be of tremendous use so whenever you get time you take out uh, some or take out some time to know something more about the mother earth which provides you all the facilities everything whatever you look for so with this i would like to thank you all once again to participate in this program and welcome you all to play it whole heartedly win the prize my best wishes to you all so that you are able to to showcase the strength the knowledge the wisdom you have thank you very much thank you sir uh now i would like to request dr rasik rabindra former director national center for polar and ocean research goa for delivering the valedictory address dr oh, yeah. rasik rabindra oh, introductory introduction <laughs> okay yeah. so uh dr rasik rabindra served in various position in geological survey of india for 34 years between December 1971 to January 2006 he is a veteran antarctican and participated in indian expedition to antarctica in 1987 to 1988 for the first time and subsequently led ninth antarctica antarctic expedition in 1989 to 1991 he has been recipient of many national award namely national mineral award in the year 
Antarctic Award in the year 2002 from Government of India, H.N. Siddiqui Gold Medal Award from Indian Geophysical Union in the year 2011 from uh, Professor Prem Bahadur Verma Memorial Lecture Award and Rajiv Gandhi Excellence Award in the year 2011 and many more. So I welcome you, sir, for gracing this program and would like to request you for delivering the inaugural address. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Megali. Thank you very much for the nice words you spoke about me. Uh, Hello. Ikhya, madam. Thank you, madam ji, Dr. Patsasati sir, Professor Walia, faculty of Hello. Department of Geology, uh, Northeastern Hill University, participants of the third online geo quiz and uh, the audience who are present here. It's a great honor and pleasure for me uh, to address uh, this learned gathering, especially the participants from Northeastern Hill region, different region and different places from the Northeastern Hill area. Uh, my love for Northeastern region is great, you know. I was there personally uh, between 1983 and 1987 and I had a very good inning um, uh, working in that region. And my contacts uh, at that time were with the uh, geography department of the NEHU. And we also were involved in a small journal, Hill Geographer. I think yeah. I am not very sure if that journal still continues. But yeah, it we, is. Had, yeah, it we is. had a very good uh, uh, inning for that journal and we were very happy to participate in that. Uh, well, uh, about this lecture, about this quiz, uh, most of you have been told about uh, Dr. Krishna Nuni. Uh, you must have also browsed through the uh, website to know about Dr. Krishna Nuni in detail because in this age of uh, you know uh, global uh, and social media, uh, nobody is uh, in dark about anybody. If you want to know about somebody, you just have to go to Google uh, and know about the person. Dr. Krishna Nuni, you know, was such a person that even if you don't know him and you read about him, uh, you get uh, you get enlightened about what a life, what a character, uh, what a personality he was. Uh, most of us who have uh, had the uh, privilege and the opportunity to work with him hold him in very high esteem. Uh, we are really proud that the God gave us some time to work with him. He, he was a, you know, uh, the person uh, you can say as the superlatives of all the good qualities that one can expect in a boss, in a friend, and in a family. He was loved by all, uh, not only because he was a very intelligent person, as uh, you have been told by uh, uh, Meghali, that he topped uh, UPSC. And he not only taught UPSC, you know, right from his school days to his college, to his university, to his ISM, every examination that he uh, attempted, he uh, scored highest marks and he, he was on the top. Whether it was his uh, training in the remote sensing in IPI, whether it was UPSC, whether it was ISM Dunbar, whether it was college, school, everywhere he talked. And this wisdom, you know, he never boasted about it. That was a great quality about him. He was so uh, unassuming person, grounded to the earth, that you never, when you are in contact with him, you never knew that you are uh, speaking to a person of that high uh, caliber. You know, that is, I think, uh, one of the most uh, and highly acclaimed qualities that a man can have. When you are you are in the arm of a person, but still you have to and listen to him. So that was the person what that uh, Dr. Krishna was. He had a great love for Northeastern Hill area. He was there for four years, as uh, you have been told by Megali. And he is known uh, for his work in uh, entire Northeast, basically because he had a unique project uh, which worked about the development of uh, village economy in the Northeastern region, uh, especially by uh, basing uh, or uh, depending upon the uh, you know, mineral assessment of that region. Every area in Northeastern Hill area region is full of mineral uh, potential. And it was his, um, it was his adventure or it was his quality, you know, to make out what is that uh, main assessment, main mineral potential that particular village has so that each village can stand on its own foothold. So that was one of the great contribution of uh, Dr. Krishna Nuni towards uh, uh, Northeastern region. That's why we all remember him. And whenever this, uh, KM City functions, we always remember uh, his love for uh, Northeastern region. That's why uh, we are now holding this third online quiz 
on uh, uh, geosciences that also only for the northeastern hill area initially it was only localized to the shillong then we graduated to uh, meghalaya plus assam and now fortunately we have spread it to the entire northeastern hill region so i am told there are 90 plus uh, participants who have registered for this quiz it's a great moment and we are sure that uh, we will get some very good uh, questions and very good answers from the people and we will see how far uh, the depth of knowledge has percolated in that uh, region now as most of you most of you must be knowing uh, the classical concept of geology uh, has got a tremendous transformation geology as a science is no longer only geology uh, this geo plus uh, logos that is the science of the uh, earth it has transformed into the earth system science totally that means the earth system now includes uh, biosphere geosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and even uh, the planetary sciences because it's a complex system which works in a closed uh, system it's not it's not that only we are on the uh, on the uh, you know uh, land we have when we are in the land when we are on the lithosphere we also have to consider what is the role of uh, ocean being played what is the role of the atmosphere which is being played to modify this uh, our uh, system in the uh, lithosphere so we have to get a concept of the, the system of this knowledge of not only the lithosphere also of the associated biospheres um, hydrosphere atmosphere all these things that's how there's a need that when you uh, enter into the graduate level you must uh, think of this uh, science as a very knowledge based ground where you have to work uh, for the entire uh, globe as dr uh, walia has uh, pointed out uh, that presently the climate change and the global warming uh, is talk of the day and everybody knows that the earth is getting transformed because of the constant Uh, rise in temperature, the global climate uh, rise. So the role of a geologist, to the role of an earth scientist, is of prime importance. And I'm sure uh, some of you, if not all, will get into this uh, subject and uh, uh, do wonders in uh, in your life. All the best to all of you, and uh, we look forward to your active participation. Uh, thank you again, uh, Dr. Walia, the faculty of the Department of Geology of uh, uh, Nehu, uh, the KMCT Trust. and all the other the faculty members of the geology department and the participants thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to uh, address you all thank you thank you sir uh, thank you sir uh, for your admiring speech and influential messages we are really grateful to you for the time and effort you took to share your thoughts with us so now moving ahead uh, now i would like to request dr sikhar kumar quiz master to explain the rules and instructions of the quiz competition over to you dr sikhar kumar you are muted you are muted oh i'm sorry sir yeah well good morning to everyone and uh, welcome to the third online geo quiz 2022 and uh, very quickly i will briefly explain the process how the quiz will be conducted so i will request all the participants to listen carefully i'm sure most of all of you have uh, received the email containing the quiz link which is i'm sure you have tried to open it and it shows that the presentation is closed because it is not active yet so as soon as i explain the few rules and the things which you should know i will make the quiz active and then you are uh, if you are not able to stay in the zoom meeting as well as the quiz website so you can leave the zoom meeting and stay in the quiz uh, website once you open the quiz link please don't close it please don't go back please don't go forward don't refresh it just leave it open the page will change automatically when the uh, when the quiz master here gives you the next question or moves on to the next question so all you have to do is read the question and the options which will be given with the question and select the correct option uh, correct answer according to you uh things to know are that e each question will either have 20 seconds for you to answer or 15 seconds depending on the round in which we are and the faster you give the correct answer more points you will get so each uh, answer is worth worth 1000 points maximum 
wrong answer obviously means zero points. There is no negative marking. And the faster you answer, you will get more out of that thousand points. So you have to answer quickly. If you try to go on the internet to search for the answer and then give the answer, then you will be very slow and you will not be able to get enough points. So there's no point doing that. Answer according to your own knowledge. Uh, there will be four rounds. Each round will have 15 questions, a total of 60 questions. And as the round changes, there will be a, a leaderboard after every round and after 10 questions as well. You'll be able to see as the quiz starts and you'll be able to see the top 10 top 20 people. And as well as on your mobile phones or on your devices, you'll be able to see your current track. After each round, it can change drastically. Some men, uh, some of you may get disconnected or things can happen. So even if you are not at the high rank, you should still try to catch up because it is very easy to catch up. Each question is worth a thousand points, 60 questions, 60,000 points. Anything and happen. All right. Uh, thing I will also mention is uh, even though the quiz is only for the students of class 11 and 12, I welcome all the participants who are in the Zoom call to join the quiz and play along. Uh, at the end, the when the merit list is found uh, is created, the result comes out. I will make sure that the prizes go to the school students only. So everyone is welcome to join. Uh, that's about it. Uh, once again, once you join the website, don't leave it. Stay on the website. If you can stay on the Zoom call as well as the website, that will be the best thing. And I will share the link of the uh, of the quiz right here in the chat, as well as you already have the uh, link of the quiz in your emails. Now I uh, give the floor to uh, Professor Devesh Walia to con start the quiz. I will make the quiz active right now, and then you can now go to the link. The students and participants of the quiz if you you want you can leave the quiz you can leave the zoom meeting right now and join there remember in the quiz there is no sound only thing is and don't worry you keep on answering one by one and everything is automatic you need not do anything uh, you need not worry about anything that's all and uh, uh dear members those who are there on the zoom actually on the zoom will be only telecasting the 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 screen of the multimeter quiz we are we are only telecasting it you cannot participate you can only see that what all is going on so if still if you want to participate there is uh, no issue there is a there is a link given in the chat box you can just press that and know the, and feel the quiz how it is being run and all but over the the zoom you will only get to know the results you will not get to know the participants and all such say like when you can see the people those who are leaving the Zoom meeting. Anybody can join the quiz, but the prizes will be will be awarded on the basis of your 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 registration and on the basis of the age criteria or other criteria which are there, so that you are able to get the award. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me just add a few things. Uh, you can use the link to join the quiz as well as the information which is on the screen right now. You can go to menti.com and enter this code. Both way you will reach the same place. Okay. Stay on the page once you have uh, reached and uh, once you are asked to enter your name, enter your full name. All right. And now sir can continue. Yeah. Don't enter your, your short name and all. You have to enter your full name. And remember the quiz will be played in four rounds. First round, there will be general aptitude and mathematical ability. So you should be ready with the paper and the pen. And second round will be geosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere, and planetary sciences, level one only. Uh, second round will be geosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere, planetary sciences, level two. And third round or the, or the fourth round, of the geosciences, again, geosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere, and planetary sciences, level three. So altogether, there will be four rounds. Round one is general aptitude and the mathematical ability. So you can see that till now, we have got around 30 people have joined. 
but uh, we are waiting for some more people to join so that uh, uh, we can start because you can leave the, the Zoom link now. And don't worry, this mentimeter.com and the passcode 40983452 is independent of Zoom. It is independent of Zoom link. So you can just type in your, your any browser www.menti.com and you will see that the you, it will ask for the passcode and the name. Name should be your full name and the passcode is 40983452 as has been communicated to you also. So once 50% of the participants means around 50 participants will join, we will start the quiz. So we are still waiting for the more participants to join. Even the participants, my 32 photo power. Yeah. Even the participants uh, from the Zoom, if you want to feel the quiz, you can just go to www.menti.com and then uh, join the, the quiz using the link 40983452. So when you are ready, this first question enter the work. Yeah. So we have got uh, 36. I still expect at least 40 to 40, 45 people to join because it won't take longer time. Once you are there in the in the quiz. And if you don't join it from the from the beginning, you may miss the 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 main feel of the quiz. So join some more people. Maybe this may be their school time, wherein the teachers' day is being celebrated. But still, take out time for this one hour. Uh, Doctor Shikhar, you can send some email or something so that let them join. Already sent. Yeah. All those, uh, but why the number is increasing so, so slowly? When the quiz starts, people tend to join more because once since the first question is not out yet, it, mm, okay. So, as yeah. soon as we start, I think so we'll as soon as we'll touch 40, we are going to start. So another minute, because what I am speaking, actually, these students are not getting. This is only for the Zoom. So I'll just start. Here now we have touched 40. So let me place the first question for there. So you need to answer fast to get more points. What is the percentage of it? 25 percentage of 18. What is 25 percent of 18? Be quick in respond, responding to the question. And the last three seconds are the time is up. So you can we can see that out of uh, forty people, thirty one responded, and twenty people they have given the right answer. So, so dear friends, keep doing good work. Now the second question of the today's quiz is: A man can row with a special with a speed of fifteen km per hour in still water. If the stream flows at 5 km per hour, then the speed in the downstream direction will be in the downstream direction will be yeah, 34 students have responded. So out of that, 13, they are right. Take, feel your nerve and give the right answer Dear, dear friends, and don't be in a hurry also. How is my mother, sister, brother, wife, child related to me? Yeah, red line are you? Yes, 
39 people have responded and 24 have given the right answer. Very well done, dear friends. Dog is to rabies, mosquito is to, is to Yes, 30, 38 people have responded. 40 people. So let's see, 33 people, they knew that the right answer is malaria. Glucose is to carbohydrate as soya bean is to Yeah, 41 people have responded. So 27 people knew it that soybean is to protein. Soybean is full of proteins. Question number six out of 60 questions. Pigeon is to peace as white flag is to Friendship, victory, surrender, war. Yes, 43 people have responded now. And 18 are correct. White flag is a, is a symbol of surrender. Question number seven of the 60 questions. Everyone in this universe is accountable to God. Fill in the blank. His are actions. Yeah, 43 people have responded and 23 are precisely correct on dot for the actions. So the eighth question of the, the 60 questions. A legislation was passed to punish brokers who dash their clients fund, devour, devastate, devour, embezzle. And irrespective of anything, because there is no negative marking, one can answer. 42 people have responded. And 14, embezzle is the right answer. Those brokers who embezzle their clients' funds. So, if A is to the south of B and C is to east of B, in what direction is A with respect to C? Yes, 42 people responded. And only 6 people, they have given the right answer. It means you need to to, to build up in your in your direction sense take care don't be in a hurry question number 10 in the first round which one of the following remains constant while throwing a ball upward
velocity, displacement, acceleration, kinetic energy. And the time is up now. 40 people have responded. And 19, they knew, around 50% of the people, they know that acceleration remains fixed due to gravity. Whether you, whenever you throw the ball up. So in the leaderboard, dear friends, those who are the participants, now around 40 participants are there. After the first round, you know that the fastest answers were given by Aman Teotia. And in the top, he is the top leading the board. Anonymous, as we requested, that don't put the name, put the right name. After that, Ibrahim Laskar is there, Fanlai Hart is there, Lalma Chwani, Chwangi is there, Nitin is there, Rishu is there, Aaron is there. So now we are going to the next round. Be ready, be prepared. And now build up your mind. You know that how good you are playing. Any round can change the whole state. So now again, the last five questions of the, the general aptitude and mathematical ability. Which one of the following is the unit of activity of a radioactive source? Activity of a radioactive source. Remember, 40 people have responded. 17 are correct. Excellent. Very well done. We know that becquerel is the unit of, of radioactivity. Question number 12. Which of the following has highest density? Which of the following has highest density? Ice, benzene, water, and chloroform. Which one has the highest density? Tricky question. Take care. 39 people have responded and 12 people have responded correctly. The ice is not the right answer. Remember those. But the water is the right answer. Remember on cooling down, the, light, the ice becomes lighter and it floats in water. So you can understand that the water has got higher density. Question number 13 of the first 15 questions of round one. Which synthetic fiber is known as artificial silk? Nylon, rayon, cotton, and terylene. Artificial silk. Forty-three people have responded, and eighteen people only they knew that rayon is the right answer. The artificial synthetic silk is known as rayon. The richest source of vitamin D after the COVID, especially people are facing shortage of vitamin D in our body. Milk, cheese, cod liver oil or spinach. Which of these has the, the maximum vitamin D? 41 people responded and 25 they know that the cod liver oil has the highest or the richest source of vitamin D. The last question of the round one. In a, if in a certain code, range is coded as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and random is coded as 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, then the code for the word mango would be? Forty people responded. The answer is very close. And A two three four seven is the right answer. If you just decode it, twenty people are able to respond. Very well done. And the leader leaderboard, how it changes, you can see. 
and you can see let, let us clap for amman tetia he is still uh, leading the leaderboard but he was not fastest this time and anonymous nilahat nitin ibrahim all all are still following rishu don't worry there is a sufficient time to catch up because the only difference of three right answers is there eren also or nishant also the time to catch up is there so there is nothing to worry keep on building the concentration and now another 15 uh, another 15 questions will be there for the level 1 of geosphere atmosphere hydrosphere planetary science how you are liking the quiz if you are liking the quiz you can press press heart or whatever those who couldn't join earlier you may still join and still enjoy the the quiz now we'll have 15 seconds only so the 16 questions of 16 question of 60 questions is the largest desert on planet earth is thar antarctic sahara arctic yeah your time is going to be over it is up now and 43 students have done remember we didn't talk of the continental or talk of the the arid desert so antarctic is the largest desert on the planet earth if we talk about that so remember dear student this was a tricky question question number 17 the pole star is also known as pole star north star south star east star west star and 41 participants 42 people have responded till now and everybody knew that's what we must know that pole star means the pole and that's what is north star also it is known as very well done so question number 18 of total 60 questions the diameter of moon is dash that of the earth's diameter 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 or 2 by 3 how much small is the moon's diameter let us know dear friends 44 45 people have responded this time and 20 are they know that it is 1/4 of the earth's diameter so that's very well done great going so now the 19th question of question 60 questions all together the majority of asteroids are found between the orbits of where are the or asteroids located mars and jupiter earth and mars jupiter and saturn saturn and uranus where are majority of asteroids they are located they are found and the answer by the 18 students mars and jupiter is the right answer so very well done keep answering in a short time when you answer your mind gives better results or understands the second the 20th question of the 60 questions is stars in the night sky appeared to move from which in which direction west to east east to west north to south south to west how the stars look like moving your times up 40 people they have responded and east to west is the right answer and it is given by 26 people excellent very well done the 21st question of the first 60 questions troposphere and thermosphere 
belong to biosphere, atmosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere. Where does these two spheres are there? Troposphere and thermosphere. So the 43 people have responded to. Out of that, 35 have responded correctly. This was the, the easy question to ask, isn't it? So question number 22 of 16. Which of the following is the, is the largest ecosystem on earth? Desert ecosystem, grassland ecosystem, ocean ecosystem, forest ecosystem, which is the largest ecosystem on earth. 45 people have, 46 people have responded and 36 are correct. We must understand because earth itself uh, has around 75% of ocean. So it has to be. Question number 23 of the first of the 60 questions. The clouds float in the atmosphere because of their low temperature, velocity, pressure, or density. Why do the clouds float in the atmosphere? Yeah, answer is correct by 32 people. That because of lower density. That's why they are able to float. So we must move on and we must understand one more thing that why because the water vapors they are lighter as or less denser as compared to some of the, the gases which are present in the atmosphere. So which layer of the atmosphere is rich in ozone that absorbs ultraviolet radiation from the sun? Troposphere, ionosphere, stratosphere, exosphere. Yeah, so you know, 32 of you know knew that stratosphere is the right answer. Wherein the when the sunlight or the ultraviolet rays moves, the ozone gets absorbed. That's why the because of the scattering, the sky looks sky blue. The speed of rotation of the earth is the highest. Which area along the equator? at the North Pole, along the tropics of Cancer, along the Arctic Circle. Where is the speed of rotation of the Earth is the highest? Forty-four people have responded. We know that along the equator, the Earth has to cover the, the maximum distance. So that's why the speed of rotation is highest along the equator. Very well done. 23 people, they knew the right answer. Now we have to come. Now you see Ibrahim Laskar has cashed up Aman Tetya. Although we have got anonymous, also Muhammad Abdul Kader Laskar is there, Nitin Unni is there, Nishant is there, Lalong Chungi is there, Rishu is there, and followed by Ben Kotbaur, Perion, and Eren. Very well done, all of you. You know that the gap is very, very close. And among the top four, the gap is only of one question and the, the time spent for answering. So don't worry, such gaps can be filled up in any of the rounds. So now we have come to the last five questions of round, round two. What is a supernova? An asteroid, a comet, a black hole, a dying star. What is a supernova? 
43 students have given the time. Your time's up. And you know that supernova is a dying star. And 28 students have given, participants have given the right answer. Very well done. The 27th question of the 60 questions. Which is the largest ocean in the world? In the world. Indian Pacific Atlantic Arctic. Forty-five people have responded, and hopefully, yes. Oh, this is the first question that out of forty-five participants, forty-four has they have given the right answer because we all know it. The largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. Twenty-eighth question. The capital of New Zealand is Wellington, Auckland, Christchurch, Napier town, Napier. The capital of New Zealand. It is very famous for cricket playground also. Yeah, so out of 45, 24 students have responded correctly. Very well done. 29th question of the first 60 questions. The acceleration due to gravity G is maximum at where the G is maximum at equator, poles, mid latitudes or subtropical regions. Where is acceleration due to gravity is maximum. Your time's up. 44, 45 people have responded and the 28 people have responded correctly. The 30th question means the last question of round two is the type of wave that arrived first at a station from an earthquake hypocenter is P wave, S wave, relay wave, love wave. Which wave arrives first at a station from an earthquake hypocenter? Yeah, hopefully 46 people have given. Yes, 37 responded correctly. So remember, P wave, which travels like the sound wave, is the fastest wave which travels from the hypocenter to any of the, the seismograph or seismic station. Now the leaderboard is here. Let us see how is the situation, what is the position, and how the things are changing. Now, Aman, you have to catch up. Ibrahim Laskar is the is that is topping the list after the round two. Muhammad Abdul Kader Laskar, you are number two, although you are the fastest. And Dishtima Gogoi. You, there is a scope to catch up. Ananya, Shutia, you have got the, the scope to catch up. You are only four or five questions away. Rishu, Lalong, Chungi, Nitin, all of you are doing quite well. Keep it up. Give good, tough fight. Now we have reached the round three. And the round three is again about geosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere, and penetration sciences level. And hence, take a fraction of second break like the quiz if you are you like or thumbs up now this this round also will have 15 seconds for each question and the questions the last 30 questions the questions goes like this question number 31 of 60 questions identify the non greenhouse gas from the following, which is not a greenhouse gas, methane, nitrous oxide, sulfur hexafluoride, carbon monoxide. Forty-five people have responded, and 
16 people only could give the right answer. So the non-CHG gas out of the following was carbon monoxide. No issues. Don't forget, this is important. Question number 32 of the, the 60 questions. Which environmental condition would have the highest rate of transpiration? Hot and humid, hot and dry, cool and humid, cool and dry. Highest rate of transpiration. Forty-four people have responded, and nineteen they knew. If the temperature is hot and humid, if it is humid, then the transpiration will go down. But if it is hot and dry, the the rate of transpiration will be the highest. So that's what you need to take care of it. Very well done. Thirty-third question. Which, what does UNFCC stand for? United Nations Framework Control on Climate Change, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, United Nations Framework Communication on Climate Change, United Nations Framework Climate Communication Council. Yes. Out of 42, 16, they knew United Nations Framework Convention on climate change. These conventions are organized where in lot of discussions they do take place. So the question number 34. Which of the following ultraviolet rays is most dangerous? Ultraviolet A, ultraviolet B, ultraviolet C. The most dangerous ultraviolet rays. 44, 43 people have responded and 23, they knew it, that ultraviolet C is considered to be the most dangerous, dear friends. Question number 35. Where is the Earth's magnetic field generated? In the crust, in the mantle, in the outer core, in the inner core. Magnetic field is generated in which part of the earth? Yeah, 42 students have responded and 27 they knew it in the outer core because the it is semi-solid. So the things can move as the convection currents. They move, they bring in, they help in generating the Earth's magnetic field because it acts like a dynamo, a giant dynamo. Question number 36. The chief ore of aluminium is out of these options. Iron, cryolite, hematite, bauxite. Which is the ore of aluminium? Yeah, 31 people, they knew it, that bauxite is the right answer. Bauxite is an ore of aluminium from where it is of pisolytic and oolytic structures are there and you can just get the aluminium from it. Question number 37. The Rova Wildlife Sanctuary is located at Arunachal Pradesh, Tripura, Gujarat, West Bengal, Rova. Yeah, 21 out of 42 participants means 50% of you know that Rova Wildlife Sanctuary is located at Tripura. This is very, very important for you to know because Northeast is already considered to be a biodiversity hotspot and has got a lot many wildlife sanctuaries. Question number 38 of the 60 questions. It goes like this. The Molignong village, which is also known as Asia's cleanest village, is located in which district of Meghalaya? 
Riboy, West Garo Hills, East Khasi Hills, South Garo Hills, Molengdong Village, Asia's cleanest village. Okay, many of you know, 27 participants out of 43, they know. Remember, Asia's cleanest village lies in Meghalaya and especially in the East Khasi Hills district of Meghalaya. Question number 39 of the 60 questions. Which country from the following does not share its border with Arunachal Pradesh? Which country? China, Bhutan, Myanmar, Nepal. Which country doesn't share the border with Arunachal Pradesh? Yes, it is Nepal. So, we know that as we go further east from Arunachal Pradesh, we get China. If we go further south of Arunachal Pradesh or the eastern part of the Arunachal Pradesh, south of it, in Changlang district at all, we get Myanmar. On the eastern part, we do get Bhutan, but it doesn't touch Nepal. So, don't forget this. Question number 40 of the 60 questions. Which is the longest river in Mizoram? Chimtupui, Tui, Tuiwal, Tlong, Tuichong. Which is the longest river? Remember, the biggest lake of Mizoram lies in some part of its lies in Myanmar. But Tlong is the right answer, which is given by the 21 people. So nice that you know about our our state like Mizoram also. Very good. Now the chance for leaderboard is there. Let us see how the things are changing. Yes, some changes have occurred which you all can observe. Ibrahim Laskar is leading from the last two rounds. Muhammad Abdul Kader Laskar is also leading. Nishan Sharma, very well done. You are trying to cope up. Aman Tetra, why you are losing your patience? Don't lose your nerve. Anonymous, you are giving tough competition. Rishu, Ananya, Ankur, and Fellahat. Congratulations for coming up. Now we have come to the third round, which is again level 3 of the geos which is uh, we have reached the third round now uh, no, we have reached sorry yeah round 3 and of the geosphere atmosphere hydrosphere military science and the last round of the quiz remember so you have to be very cautious again to move up these are the last 20 questions now which are there and there are 20 questions, 5 questions of round 2 and 15 questions of round 3 are there. Which is the highest point in Nagaland? So, Mount Etna, Mount Saramati, Mount Pinatubo, Mount Vesuvius. I think you know Mount Saramat, Saramati is the highest point or the highest mount in the in the in the Nagaland. So congratulations, 32 participants. 42nd question. How many Indian states have border with Sikkim? One, two, three, four. How many border states are there with the Sikkim? Let's see who knows the right answer. And only 10 people, they knew the right answer because you know that Sikkim is surrounded on all the sides by West Bengal. So take care. Don't think that there are two states which are touching. Assam doesn't touch 
Sikkim directly. Sikkim directly. All right. So that's what the forty third question. Nameri National Park is situated in which district of Assam? Jorhat, Sonitpur, Kamrup, Karimganj. Nameri National Park, remember. And the answer by for 32 students is correct. Sonitpur district is the right answer. All right. So, Nameri National Park is situated in the Sonitpur district. 44th question of the 60 questions. Which game was introduced by Manipur to the Europeans? Cricket, football, polo, rugby. Which was introduced by Manipur to the Europeans? It is polo. Excellent. Because the Manipur has been playing, playing traditionally playing polo in the area. The 45th question of the, the, the top 60 questions is which is the most abundant metal in the earth's crust? In the earth's crust, which metal is most abundant? Nickel, aluminium, iron, silicon. We are talking of the earth's crust. And we are talking of the metal. Yeah, this was a very tricky question. And we know a crust is known as Sial. So the metal is aluminium. All right. So remember, aluminium is the most abundant metal in the earth's crust. And with this, round one and round two are over. Let us see how the leaderboard changes. So the top four positions, five, six, seven positions didn't change. Only there is a change or there is an incorporation of SK into the list. So SK, keep it up. Do well. We have come to the last round and it is the final round or the round four, the last 15 questions. And these last 15 questions which is level three of geosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere, and planetary sciences. And you'll get 15 seconds each. All right. Hopefully, many hearts and many thumbs ups are coming. So, which says that students are, participants are feeling the nerve and they are getting excited to participate in such a quiz where no face to face interaction is there. But one person is not happy. So, but still, we'll try to resolve the matter. Now, question number 46, or, of, or the last 15 questions. It is a type of uncomfortability characterized by the occurrence of sedimentary rock on igneous metamorphic rock is known as unconformity. Angular unconformity, non-conformity, para-conformity, or disconformity. This is the last round, round four. And the non-conformity is the right answer, which is given by 21 participants. Excellent. Very well done. 47th question from the beginning. And the question is, Which of the following material would be a good lining for a landfill or man-made pond? Sir, another 15 minutes for this valedictory session, for the valedictory. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so the clay is the right answer as the lining to the pond. And it is given by 24 people. Very well done. 48th question.
which of the following is a type of dam you know that what is dam anchor dam short crete geogrid buttress yes the answer the 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 answer was the question was still tricky but the answer was easy so the 19 people could respond very well done out of 41 49 question point bar deposit is associated with braided river estuary meandering river beach point bar yeah 43 people responded and only 29 they gave the right answer the point bar is associated with the meandering river the question number 50 of the 60 questions which among the following is the most potent greenhouse gas? Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, methane and water vapor. Most potent. And the time is up. 42 people responded. Water vapor, remember friends. Carbon dioxide is talked too much. But water vapor is one of the most potent greenhouse gas we must remember but we consider that water vapor is in the huge quantity so we often try to miss it but water vapor is the most potent greenhouse gas 51st question the jurassic stratigraphy stratigraphic succession of kutch is characterized by is characterized by which of the following cephalopod trilobites brachiopods Graptolites, the Jurassic. Forty people responded, and eleven responded correctly because cephalopods are the predominant uh, fossils present in the in the stratigraphic succession of Kutch. Fifty-second question means the last eight questions. We are there. Of the following, the rock that is most resistant to the both chemical and mechanical weathering, which which gets very easily weathered, shale, limestone, marble, quartzite. Yeah, so quartzite is most resistant to the both chemical and mechanical weathering because of its compactness and because of the sand present in it. So 53rd question, remember we, are, we have reached the last seven questions now. The solidified lava of a volcano belongs to which rock family? The solidified lava belongs to which rock family? Igneous, metamorphic, sedimentary, fossilized. Yeah. So you know that it is this. It is the volcanic igneous rock. All right. So it is. It has to be the igneous. Other options are wrong and which most of you have responded correctly 54th question of the last 60 questions which one of the following energy sources does not does not originally come from the sun wind geothermal hydroelectric which of the following energy source does not originally come from the sun 39 40 students have answered correctly let me see how many said geothermal. 14 students said ge geothermal because it is due to the heat of the earth. So remember, that's what is important. Fifth, 55th question.
which of the following minerals is not a silicate? You know that silicate minerals are there. Orthoclase, muscovite, augite, magnetite. Which of the following mineral is not a silicate? Yes, many of you, you knew it. You people are aware of not many aspects of geoscience. We know that the common rock forming minerals are silicates, but some of the old minerals, they are oxides or they are non-silicates. So magnetite is the right answer. Now, the last five questions are there. Let us see how is the situation. Who can come up? Yeah, so the leading is Ibrahim, followed by Abdul Qadir, followed by Nishan, then Aman, then Rishu, Drishmita Gogoi and Nidhi. So there is a there is a competition which you can come up very easily. Position one, two, and three can be attained if you just be cautious while responding to the right answers. So question number 56 means last, last five questions. Question number 56 is, which of the following pairs contain one igneous and one sedimentary rock? Shale and marble, sandstone and quartzite, granite and limestone, Obsidian and nice. One igneous and one sedimentary rock. Yeah, 28 people have responded correctly. Granite is the igneous rock, plutonic igneous rock, and limestone is the, the deep seated or very fine grained sedimentary rock. Fifty seventh question. Which of the following materials is the hardest? Is the hardest, remember? Calcite, silicon carbide, topaz, quartz. Materials. And forty participants they responded. And silicon carbide is the right answer, which has got hardness of more than topaz. And it is not natural. So it is the hardest material available. 58th question. So the last three questions of today's quiz. It is, we know that the outer core is in liquid state because P waves pass through it, S waves pass through it, P waves cannot pass through it, S waves cannot pass through it. How do we know that the outer core is in, is in liquid state? Yeah, because S wave cannot pass through it, S waves they travel like the light waves and they are not able to pass through. They get absorbed there. So because of which we can know that the, the outer core is in the, in the liquid state. Very well done. The last but one question means the second last, last question, question number 59. Be prepared, be ready. The Morovikic discontinuity separates outer core from the inner core. The lithosphere from the asthenosphere, the asthenosphere from the mesosphere, the crust from the ventral. Moho. Yeah. Yes, 21 people responded correctly. Congratulations. And we are moving to the last question of today's quiz. The four rounds wherein the one round, first round was of general aptitude and mathematical ability. Other three rounds, level one, two, and three of the geosphere, atmosphere, and hydrosphere. So the last question is, 
the lithosphere is approximate approximately dash kilometers thick 10 100 500 2900 the lithosphere the question is very very easy so let's see yeah yeah 14 people only could respond it correctly i thought all of you should have responded correctly because we know that lithosphere is the top layer earlier the crust was considered to be 8 to 35 kilometer thick but when we convert when we know it as a lithosphere it is supposed to be up to 0 to 100 kilometers thick so those who who have done wrongly take care it is 100 kilometers thick so we have come to an end of the today's quiz and the results are You can see that in the last round, Ibrahim Laskar lost his school. So, Muhammad Abdul Kader Laskar has topped the list. And his, his, his logo is from the beginning to, to keep cool. So, with this, we have come to the, to, the, to the end of this quiz. So, we'll come back to the, to the Zoom platform again. And those students, those who are who have got time for the another five minutes can be there. And then let us have, let us join on the Zoom link if it is possible. So with this, we have come to an end of the today's quiz. Some of the participants may join back using the link, Zoom link. We have sent them the message so that they can join, they can participate in this program. So we'll wait for two minutes for all of them to join. And in the meantime, I would like to request the organizing team under the leadership of Mr. Shikhar to please compile the result and find out that who all have got the highest marks and whether they have submitted the certificate of their age or their school so that we can know that who all have won, especially those participants, those who knew, those who know that they have got the, the maximum marks, first top three students should join the board, the Zoom meeting so that we can hear from them also. So in the meantime, uh, if I, I would like to request uh, Ravindra Saab or Partha Sarthi Saab or somebody to give one minute short uh, uh, word about this before we before the people join because only 28 people are there. I want at least 30, 40 people to be there because those who know that they are not getting the marks at times, they don't join. But I would like to request all of all the students, send them the message also, all the students to join. Yes, sir, please. I think it was a wonderful experience. Uh, we enjoyed all the rounds, uh, the mathematical round, and especially the last three rounds, uh, which had a very nice, really planned questions on geology, uh, planetary science, and uh, hydrosphere also. So kudos to all of you and the team of the uh, geology department of Nehu. Excellent, excellent work done. Yeah. Excellent work. Yeah, thank you, sir. Partha Sati, sir, if you want to say a few words. Uh, at the outset, I am very happy that uh, it has been uh, a more broader uh, representation in terms of northeastern states rather than the earlier ones compared to earlier ones. That's one thing. Number is less, no doubt, but then probably uh, more than number, the widespread nature is more important for me yeah. uh, because more and more people of uh, st different states are participating yeah. and it was a wonderfully organized program. I think uh, there is a steady improvement over the quality of uh, quiz program also. And uh, yeah. thanks, uh, Professor Davis Valia and his, his team. Yeah. Hello. Arthur, yeah. can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you're there. So we can, yeah, Acha, Acha, you are Dr. Balla, sir? I am yeah. Balla. I am not Dr. Balla, I am just Balla. <laughs> okay. All right. 
<laughs> okay. No. no. Uh, so, Doctor Mehta, please. Yeah. Please. Sahab, it, is, it was a really great experience. I I really admire the just the setup of the, the whole quiz program. Uh, it seems that the first part, the very first part, I think that is a great thought because in sports, as we say, it is just for the people to warm up yeah. for the sport. It's a gen general knowledge and uh, people get into that groove and then start answering the questions yeah. which are more specific. That is yeah. a great thought over in the, in the total format of this uh, particular one. So yeah. that I must congratulate whosoever has designed the quiz. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it is, uh, sir, it is with the Krishna Nuri Memorial Charitable Trust and Department of Geology and under Dr. Shikhar, uh, these few things were, were planned. And now we'll, we are trying to broaden the base as was said by Partha Sarthi Sahib. Now all the northeastern states are represented. Only number is less. So slowly this base has to be widened so that more students, they, they join this program. But at least during this time, all the states are, are, are represented in the quiz. So that is a great thing. I mean, even this number is not a small number. Actually, I mean, one is the people's own uh, familiarity with the system, like yeah. how to join and how. The, and considering all those handicaps, I think this is not a small number. At least yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. So yeah, thank you, sir. Doctor Megali, please take over. Yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So it was indeed a very interesting quiz. Congratulations to all the winners as well as all the participants for being a part of this quiz competition program. I hope you all have enjoyed this quiz competition. So now we switch over to valedictory session. First, I would like to request Mr. J.K. Valla, form, former director, Geological Survey of India for delivering the valedictory address. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Mithali. And uh, do Dr. Walia, Mr. Parsati, Dr. Nupendu Gupta, and uh, others. About an, I think, half an hour or 45 minutes before the quiz program was to start, I was told by Parsati that, uh, well, because of non availability of uh, Dr. Shalesh Nai, Maybe that we have to switch our roles and those are two big shoes to really fill for me. But anyway, I'll make an attempt. See, I had a long association with Krishnan and whatever was to be told about him, Dr. Anupendu Gupta's address and Dr. Walia's address has made my task very easy. And one thing perhaps has not been, we have not been able to really mention, but everyone knows that was Krishnan's absolute integrity in his official dealing and personal dealing. I'm one, there was absolutely no difference in what he said and what he did. I've seen it in his, uh, in the personal interactions as well as official action, react, interactions with the ministry and with other departments. So that is one thing which uh, all of us and got rubbed on us by him. Whatever little we have of those qualities, it is because of our association with him. That is at the purely personal level and uh, that, of course, gets uh, reflected in the of, uh, official things also. Now coming to this quiz, the effort of the MCT is to send this kind of activity to other regions of the country. It was done for the East and Northeast region for two reasons. One was the close association of Krishna with Northeast and then I think the presence of Dr. Devesh Walia and uh, his very, very efficient and uh, efficient group. I really like it. And, you know, those of, uh, those of us who have really dealt with the parliamentary question would realize that participation in the quiz itself makes you so knowledgeable. When you are preparing for a quiz, participating in a quiz, that itself is a big experience. Because if, 
you know, even in the parliamentary questions, what happens is the main answering the main question is the easiest part of everything. But anticipating the supplementary questions and preparing for those is much, much more difficult. And I think those who have participated in this space, they, they were dealing, uh, preparing mainly for the second part. That they had no clue to what kind of questions will come. Just the main type, but otherwise the level of questions would be absolutely unknown to them. And still they have done, I think, uh, for college students, they have done really well. Maybe the some of us we, uh, who have, might have participated in this quiz unofficially might have got much less marks than uh, the actual participants have got. I must congratulate whoever is the winner or uh, and my heartiest congratulations to and our thanks on the behalf of KMC to Dr. Walia and Mithali, Shikhar and others who have uh, done their job so well. Thank you very much. Thanks to, to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir, uh, for your influential message. And we are really grateful to you for the time and effort you took to share your thoughts with us. So now I would like to request Professor Devesh Walia, Head Department of Geology, Northeastern Hill University, Silong, for official declaration of results. Over yeah. to you, sir. Yeah, thank you, uh, Madam Megali. Now the thing is, um, uh, all the participants, those who, who have been playing, firstly, I would like to thank you for participating. And remember that we'll be organizing some more quiz in the times to come. And you all should participate with a more bigger zeal and enthusiasm because such programs, they will take you to closure to whatever your aspirations are and whatever you, you deserve for. Now the result is, is, a, is a, the, the accumulation of whatever your mindset, your concentration for a short period of time. And we, as, as already told to you that that out of 60,000 marks, the question, the, the marking is there because 60 questions are there, 100 marks each. And I'm very much happy and what would like to place before the, the, the eminent people is that the highest mark scores, that person has answered out of 60 questions, 59 questions correctly. Great. So to understand that this is what is the level of uh, understanding these days. And that's what is, is worth appreciating. So people, you just get encouraged by knowing the result. And second important thing is that this result is not the end or not neither a beginning, but make, make it a platform to go up and achieve various things, various um, activities, various desires in your life. So I would like to tell you, sir, uh, that in the today's quiz, out of 90 registrations, total people participated, there were around 80 people participated. And out of that, uh, some of the questions, uh, most of the questions, more than 40 people, they attempted. And in the today's position, the, of the my uh, staff, Dr. Shekhar and team, has already checked and after reconfirming, Confirming, reconfirming, we have found, we declare hereby the result. And the third position in this quiz goes to Kendra Dalaya number one, Tejpur. In Tejpur, there is Kendra Dalaya and Aman Teotia. We know that he was the he was the leading the board, he was the fastest, but somehow Aman, if you can switch on your video, we'll be very glad to see you. Uh, even I'll request the, the organizers to click photo also. So Aman Tetra, Tetra has scored good marks and secured the third position. Whereas the second position holder, he was for very long time first position holder and he is Ibrahim Laskar. He is from the Holy Cross School, Silchar. So I would like to congratulate the principal, the teachers, and all the students of Holy Cross School as well as KV number one, Tejpur, 
that you have got such a such an amazing student. They are such a nice students are there. And the first position is Muhammad Abdul Kader Laskar. Uh, Abdul Kader, you are also from class 12 of Holy Cross School, Silchar. So two students, those who have secured first two positions, they are from the Holy Cross School, Silchar, whereas the third position is secured by the KV number one, Tejpur. So remember, dear friends, whatever floods, whatever natural hazards, whatever place you belong to, nothing can stop you to perform if you have got. So I, I congratulate you, three of you, Abdul Kader, who secured first position. He belongs to class 12. Ibrahim Laskar, who secured second position, belongs to class 12. Of Holy Cross School, Silchar, both of them. And Aman uh, from class 12, KV number one. Tejpur. So all of you, congratulations. If you are there, kindly, kindly, kindly show your photograph, show that video. I can see Aman is there and Muhammad Abdul Kader is there. So if both of you can please unmute so that we can see. Abdul Kader, can you? Yeah. Nice to see you. And uh, and uh, Aman, Aman, if you can unmute for a minute. Yeah, this is what is Aman also. And uh, Abdul, can you call Ibrahim? Yes, sir. Can you, call, can you call Ibrahim also to join? Yes, sir. He is from your school, so that until the last he was leading, towards the last round you started and you have displaced him. So, uh, I would like to hear from Aman, uh, uh, how was your experience? You can unmute and you can say a few words. From yes, the sir. Table. Am I audible? Yes. yes, yes. Yes, sir. It was a really a great experience to be part of this quiz. I mean, it was really great. Um, there were various questions from all the sections. Uh, <clears throat> when you compare it with round one, it was quite different. But round, from round two to four, it was the same, at least almost the geosciences. It was from various domains, including the Indian geography in the, I mean, the world. There was not much question from the world geography region. There was uh, pretty well sections from the geology also. So I, I could attempt. And uh, the thing was, I got just slipped down to many positions, like in round one, I was leading. So I just I couldn't cope up in the last two rounds. So just for that. So it was really nice. I thank all the members for organizing this quiz, and uh, so it motivates the people who participate in, in the, the PS also and create a sense of competitiveness. So I would like to thank. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Abdul Kader. Can, could you can, uh, call uh, Ibrahim? Yes, sir. Oh. I'm calling. He'll be he'll be joining. Yes. Sir. All right. Yeah. So in the meantime, you may speak a few words. Congratulations yes, for securing the first position. Yes, I still I am confused. <laughs> is it? The yes. mic is still there uh, for the quiz because quiz requires a lot of patience, a lot of uh, uh, time and all. Yeah. Say, say a few words. Could you Nothing to say, sir. That national, uh, this is Northeast level, this is national level quiz. You have secured the first position? Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. So, would you like to say a few words? No, sir. That's all right. All right. Congratulations once again. Hopefully, Thank you, sir. both of you have shared your account details. Have you shared your account details in the form? No, form? sir. No, sir. Achha. If not, you just share in the same link, same account, so that we get your uh, your your uh, your bank account, so that to transfer the the prize money, whatever you have secured. You remember that this is one of the national level quiz, and yes, sir. it is it is organized for the for the students of the northeastern states, but it has got great repute. So you all, all are again both of you third one. I am still waiting for the third person to join. But uh, let me see again. Is it possible to call over his mobile number? Sir, he's not receiving, sir. Oh, he's not receiving. Here also. I thought that maybe. Yeah, it's all right then. It's okay. 
no problem so uh, with this we have come to an end of the quiz and i would like to 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 give hand over the mic to dr megali barua please oka kashe pune maatadanta and program run oka argantla maatadu sir now i would like to request sri evr partha saradi secretary krishna nuni memorial charitable trust to propose vote of thanks over to you sir thank you megali at the outset i am very happy from krishna nuni memorial trust to participate in this uh, excellent program i congratulate the three winners abdul qadir laskar ibrahim laskar and and arun tiwatiya uh, and also the i encourage the, all the participants and in fact i expect more and more participation from the other states in a bigger way as such so anyway congratulations to them you will get apart from the cash prize you will get certificates also from uh, dr uh, professor valiya Yeah. I'm really thrilled with the way which uh, Dr. Mikhail has introduced the, uh, today's our program with the Krishnani Sub's photos and all these things. And for, uh, I thank her for ex- profusely for that effort. And also Saraswati Vandana was really marvelous. I thank the uh, uh, Nehu Department, Professor Valia and his team. uh for organizing at another uh, excellent uh, quiz program in collaboration with km city and i uh, i'm happy to find many people from uh, km city also uh, including mr krishnan's family members joining this today's function and uh, i'm very happy at that and then uh, i thank one and all for excellent participation thank you thanks professor all the way for, for excellently conducting very professionally conducted quiz i enjoyed it thank you sir things were done please and i did of this uh, this thing excellently done organized by krishna nuni memorial trust and the north east and region very nice indeed i interrupted to pass down the appreciation to the entire team for dr megali and for the devishalyan and the entire team thanks a lot yeah thank you sir so uh, uh, i would like to request those who are there online still please uh, uh, share your video your pic so that we can click some photographs for our record uh, sudha or uh, abdul qadir or shikhar or aman nishant nidhi all those who are there if you just unmute your uh, just show your pic your video so that we can take uh, nishant you tried the hard very very well done i saw that how you are moving up and down but it was very worth appreciating participating participation is more important than anything else so yeah uh, organizers just click photo uh, uh, swami nathan sir uh, if you can just switch on your video once again so that within uh, yeah anybody else uh, dr shikhar you have photo also acha you are there already yeah so you can click photo and with this we have come to an end thank you very much for this excellent quiz and uh, the winners once again congratulations hopefully you will get your your certificate and the award money reward money within no time this reward money is not for anything but it is sort of recognition and gratitude to you all youngsters those who have participated in this program thank you very much thank you sir thank you madam thank you everyone thank you thank you